mining industry, bins, hoppers, and stockpiles of loose material are common. Sometimes material looks like it has a firm surface. You might assume it's as safe as it looks. It isn't. From sand to salt, from coal to crushed stone, any loose material can slide and swallow you like quicksand. Every year, miners die in accidents that involve loose materials in bins, hoppers, and stockpiles. Any type of loose material can be like quicksand. Struggle and you sink deeper. If you're trapped, rescue can be difficult in the loose sliding material. You can suffocate in just a few minutes and you do not have to be completely buried to suffocate. Every time you exhale, your chest cavity narrows and the surrounding material presses in, squeezing your lungs and heart tighter and tighter until you can no longer breathe. Mine employees who work around loose material include the operators of front end loaders, bulldozers, trucks, conveyor belts, and hoppers. Whether your job is handling, transporting, or storing loose materials, you should know the safe procedures for working around these materials. Many suffocation accidents happen when clearing hang-ups of material. Normally, materials in bins, hoppers, and stockpiles will feed smoothly through the openings below. But, depending upon dampness and other conditions, it may bridge, leaving a hollow place underneath. In other cases, the material may hang up around the sides of an enclosure. At any moment, the material could break free. Anyone caught inside could be buried. Oversized materials may also bridge or hang up. When possible, this kind of material should be broken up with machinery so that workers will not be in a hazardous position. Large rocks may also hang up in the crusher. Bins, hoppers, and other storage facilities are often equipped with devices such as vibrators, grappling hooks, and mechanical diggers to avoid delays in the flow of materials. Use machinery whenever you can to relieve bridges and hang-ups. Don't put yourself at risk. However, there may still be times when workers with simple tools have to do the work by hand. If you have to enter a bin or hopper to free a hang-up, always follow these important steps. First, stop the flow of materials. Cut off the power to the machinery, then lock out the supply and discharge equipment. Never work alone in a hazardous situation. Wear a safety belt attached to a safety line. The line must be snubbed securely and attended by a second person. 
Before you enter the dangerous area, knock down any material that could fall on you. The safety line must be kept reasonably taut at all times to prevent you from being engulfed if the bridge material caves in. The second person must be in a safe position so they can help you if necessary. Okay, I'm coming up now. Before equipment is restarted, workers must be safely out of the way. Warning devices such as horns, sirens, or loudspeakers must be used to alert all personnel that operations are to be resumed. One more point on clearing hangups. When you bar down material, use a long enough bar and stay in a safe location while using it. Start at the top and work down, knocking down all material that could fall on you before you enter. Besides relieving bridged materials, other situations around bins and stockpiles can be dangerous. Openings to materials handling and storage facilities need to be guarded with access covers and doors to prevent falls and possible entrapment. Doors and access covers need to be kept closed and either latched or locked. Some open bins or hoppers have platforms, travelways, or elevated catwalks. This man is in a position where he could fall into the bin. Areas like this should be protected by railings, barriers, or barred grizzlies. Or you need to attach a safety line of the proper length before starting work. You also need to use care around moving machinery, especially the many conveyors that supply and discharge from bins, hoppers, and storage piles. Special care must be taken around drive, head, and tail pulleys, and other pinch points between pulleys and belts. Many suffocation accidents have happened on and around stockpiles. The greatest danger is to people on foot. There is an inner pile which sinks in as the conveyor, which is under the pile, draws the material down and carries it away. This draw point around the perimeter is a very dangerous area. At the base of the pile, there is a danger of being hit by falling rocks or caught in a slide of material. Sometimes, depending on the material, a surge pile will draw from the center straight down, leaving an inverted cone. To be safe, stay away from this area too. Heavy equipment operators who work on top of the stockpile also need to be careful. If there's a large cavity in the pile, the machine can break through into it. Never run the machine over an area where material is being withdrawn or any area where a cavity is suspected. If the machinery does fall into a cavity, don't leave it. Walking or climbing on the pile will be very dangerous. Stay put and wait for help. Now let's review. Loose material in bins and stockpiles can be as deadly as quicksand. So, when dealing with hung up and bridged material, use machinery if possible. If you must enter a bin, one, lock out all associated equipment. Two, get help. Three, use a safety belt and line. Four, Bar down loose material before entering. Never climb on a stockpile and avoid going near stockpiles on foot. If operating heavy equipment on a stockpile, avoid possible cavities. And if a cavity is encountered, stay with the machine and wait for help. Safety is not just a job for safety directors and mine inspectors. Everyone working around the mine or plant has safety responsibilities. Stay alert. Learn to recognize a dangerous situation. Don't endanger yourself by getting into a hazardous position. When you look at a bin or a stockpile of any loose material, think quicksand.